Hello viewers, welcome to the next section, From Data to Knowledge Discovery. In this section, we will learn about data preparation, exploratory statistics, numerical measures, exploratory visualization. Now we move on to the video, Data Preparation. In this video, we will learn to change the data. Also, we will find outliers in data. To get started, it's good practice to keep your original data. We've done this in the cleaning data.xlsx. Let's move on to a practical example. We will use a file designed ad hoc that contains the data for a small sample of observation. It lists the results of a test. We'll grab cleaning data.xlsx, a spreadsheet that contains some of the issues we just listed. Now it's possible to load the data with the help of the sample data command. Now that we have the sample data in a table in the MATLAB workspace, first we print a summary of the main features with this summary function. In this table, we get an overview of the MATLAB desktop is shown, with the newly imported spreadsheet in the foreground. Already we can notice that the age variable has one missing value, Missing values of any type of variable are indicated by the NA code, which means not available. The not a number, that is NAN code on the other hand, indicates invalid numeric values, such as a numeric value divided by zero. If a variable contains missing values, MATLAB cannot apply some functions to it. For this reason, it is necessary to process the missing values in advance. Let's look at the table to see what it contains. So, run sample data. A quick look, and we notice that there are some problems. Empty cells, cells containing a period, cells containing the string NA, cells containing the string NAN, cells containing a negative number. In this case, we were fast because the file is small, only 12 records, but in the case of large files, we would not have been as quick. To find observations with missing values just as fast, we can use the isMissing function. This function displays the subset of observations that have at least one missing value. Now we will type some lines of code. The first line specifies the types of data we want to locate in the table. The second identifies the location of missing data. Finally, we print only the records with missing data. Remember, the isMissing function recognizes by default only the missing value indicators. Those are NAN for numeric arrays, double quotes for character arrays, unidentified for categorical arrays, all the others must be specified in the way we've just seen. In addition, we can use the numeric treat as missing and string treat as missing options to specify other values to treat as missing. Next, we will change the data type. Comparing the report provided by the summary function with the content of the sample data table, it is noted that the age variable is stored as a cell array of character vectors. We can correct the problem by converting the char variables that should be numeric using the string to double function. Let's take a look at that by typing sample data dot age command. Now the age variable is a numeric array. During the conversion, the string to double function replaces the non-numeric elements of the age variable with the value NAN. However, there are no changes to the numeric missing value indicator, minus 19. We do the same for the write variable. For that, type sample data dot write command. In both cases, a conversion from cell arrays of character vectors to numeric arrays is performed. In fact, the summary function also shows simple statistical data, that is min, median, max, and the number of missing values. The next step will allow us to replace the missing value indicators. Then we will clean the data 
so that the missing values, indicated by the minus 19 code, have the missing numeric value matrix provided by MATLAB, which is NAN. To do this, we can use the standardized missing function, which replaces the values specified in parentheses with standard missing values in an array or table. For that, we will run some commands. We may notice that minus 19 is no longer present, while the missing values are now 2 instead of 1. At this point, we can create a new table, sample data new, and replace the missing values with the correct values with the help of the fill missing function. This function fills missing entries of an array or table with a value indicated and provides a number of ways to fill the missing values. In this case, we fill missing values with values from previous rows of the table. To achieve that, we will run sample data new command. As we can see, there are no missing values. In fact, the missing data has been replaced with that of the previous cell. This was performed column by column. In order to prepare data for subsequent exploration, we may consider it necessary to remove the lines with missing values. Let's create a new table, Sample Data Minor, which contains only the rows without missing values, starting from the table containing the raw data. To this end, we will use the RM Missing function. It removes missing entries from an array or table. So, type the Sample Data Minor command. Thus, the 12 row table has only 7 rows which are the only rows that have all the correct data. We're done with the cleaning. Now is the time to rearrange the table through the organization of our data. In particular, we will order the rows of the newly created table, Sample Data Minor, in descending order with the age variable. In this case, we will use the Sort Rows function, which sorts the rows of a matrix in the order specified in parentheses based on the elements in the column also specified in parentheses. To achieve that, type sample data ordered command. The small table now shows the records in decreasing order of age, so the elderly must be first and the younger must be last. Further, we will find outliers in data. Outliers are the values that, compared to others, are particularly extreme. Outliers are a problem because they tend to distort data analysis results in particular in descriptive statistics and correlations. These should be identified in the data cleaning phase, but can also be dealt in the next step of data analysis. Outliers can be univariate, where they have an extreme value for a single variable, or multivariate, where they have an unusual combination of values on a number of variables. In MATLAB, an outlier can be identified easily and effectively, just use the isOutlier function, which actually finds outliers in data. Apply it to the previous example, in particular to the table Sample Data New, which contains the clean data. We will now type Sample Data Outlier command to see the result. This function returns a logical array whose elements are true when an outlier is detected in the corresponding item in the table. By default, MATLAB identifies an outlier if it is more than three average escalating MADs far from the median. In our case, we applied the function only to the three columns that contained numeric data, and we omitted the first line containing the variable names. This 7 by 5 table shows the result of the application of the isOutlier function being compared to the original data to locate the outliers. The function works on each column separately. By comparing the table Sample Data Outlier with Sample Data New, it can be seen that we have identified an outlier only in the value of 100 for the age variable. Next, we will organize multiple sources of data into one. Suppose we have some data from a survey deriving from two representative samples of the population. These pieces of data are subsequently imported into MATLAB in two separate tables, Sample Data 1 and Sample Data 2. 
Let's see what they contain. Our aim is to submit such data for an exploratory analysis, but as similar data, we first want to merge them into one table. This is a simple concatenation of two matrices. Concatenation is the conjunction process of small matrices to create larger matrices. Concatenating matrices in MATLAB is really a joke. When you create an array, you merely concatenate its individual elements. In MATLAB, the square bracket is the concatenation operator. In this case, just type the sample data complete command. In addition, we have some data that allows us to add useful information about gender features. In particular, we have data on life expectancy in Hong Kong in a file named lifeexpectancy.xlsx. We start importing it into MATLAB using the life expectancy command. At this point, we just want to add this data. To do this, we will use the join function. It merges two tables by rows using key variables. To achieve this, run sample data le command. Now the table can be considered complete, we've cleaned and reorganized it by adding more information so we can go to the exploratory analysis. In this video, we have learned about data preparation.